It's plausible we fall into a recession, um, but I don't see how we fall into a recession that's significant anyway, where uh, the VIX should be down in the, in the low teens. So um, we're long December VIX futures right now that I get paid 24 for, and I'm, or sorry, we're short December futures and we're long August futures that um, is only costing me 22. So I'm getting paid about 1.7 to put that trade on. And if there is an event with a debt ceiling, if there's a geopolitical event, um, or if there's just significant headwinds to earnings and volatility picks up, the front month futures spike far more than the longer dated futures. So I'm getting paid to put the trade on and I'm getting insurance over the summer months where something's going to happen is the, the risk on that side. And We've all been uh, pondering over the years how we've had to become political experts as well, just reading the tea leaves on some of the debates that have been happening in the United States and beyond. And this particular cycle is key because we're in the presidential uh, countdown now and you can see how positioning and horse trading around the debt ceiling is so significant. What's the, the most likely outcome? Do you think a deal will be reached? I think everybody thinks a deal's going to be reached, but I don't see how we get there without some grandstanding and creating a bit of chaos to get there because, uh, as you said, the pres presidential election's coming up. Everyone wants to make their point. They want to get their name out there and show that they're standing up to the radical left or the radical rights, depending on your point of views. And uh, I do think on Friday, everything was being priced as if a deal was pretty much done. We're going to get to that deal, but I think there's going to be a few bumps in the road before we get there. Uh, just a quick one on what you said in your first answer. The, m the most money I ever lost as a trader was uh, on the, uh, the deck expiry uh, on, on, on the roll of the future. And I'm going back now, and I can probably remember the exact year. I think it was 1991, where I, I, the, the, the deck march roll just exploded the wrong way for me. So just, just on a technical, you're not, you're not worried about your August deck roll. Well, I'm... In the summer, we'll close it out. We might do it at a loss. If nothing happens, I'm going to lose money on it because the August future that I'm long yeah. is going to fall more. We're going to be in the steep contango, but it's giving me some insurance to get through what could be um, some direct. But it was just, that just I thought the role was steady, and obviously then it just exploded on me and a hell of a lot of other people. It's just, just, just one caution on what could be a very interesting trade. All right, let's move on as well. Um, what would you? This vol is cheap at the moment, but it's cheap for reasons because they, they just can't get the market down. And um, I agree with you, 16 times you should be able to trade your gamma somewhat as well. But, but markets are stuck. As, and in, in terms of the ultimate direction, the fact that you are long that August as well, does that make you think that we are going to see a bit of an event in the next month or so? Well, I don't think we are, but I think it's very plausible we are, and it's not going to cost me much to hedge that risk. Right. So I just think that the bond market Fed fund futures are pricing that we're going into a recession. It's got four cuts by January. You've got the big 210 inversion, which is signaling a recession. Um, so that's where I'm betting against the recession, and I'm betting on the recession by being long VIX. So um, if nothing happens, I'm probably going to make a little bit of money maybe on both sides of things. Okay. Um, so I'm just betting against where the market's absolutely sure Powell's going to be cutting. Um, Market, market thinks it's absolutely sure yeah, the power's um, going to be cutting. And I, I don't know where they got that view from. I, and I, it's a funny one that I think if Powell cuts, he probably cuts a lot more than the market's pricing. But I think there's an above 50% chance where he just sits on his hands, we get through year end because services PMI is incredibly strong, the employment backdrop incredibly strong, consumer spending all strong. It's not the kind of thing where the Fed needs to really pump liquidity out there unless there is a debt crisis, which I'll probably make an issue on or a, a, a that level uh, issue, um, I'll make money on the VIX if I'm mm. losing money on those Fed fund futures.